Today, the riders will pass through the Jura Mountains, and they're a weird banana-shaped mountain range just northwest of the Alps. All along today's stage, you're gonna see these kinds of limestones. And they're known all around the world because of these little guys. These are probably the world's most famous fossils. Check out these beautiful spiral shells with the chambers inside. The ancient Greeks thought these looked like the horns of the god Ammon, which is why they're called Ammonites. They were the shells of funky little squid-like creatures that moved up and down like submarines by filling and emptying their chambers. And they were really good swimmers, so we find these fossils all over the world. There were many different species of Ammonites, but each species only existed for a short time span. So when French and English geologists found the same species of Ammonites here and in the UK, they knew that those layers had to have the same age. They named the most famous geological period after the Jura limestones. And that's the Jurassic. So why are the Jura shaped like a massive croissant? Well, the Jura limestones are situated on top of gypsum and gypsum is very slippery. So when the Alps formed and bulldozed over Europe, they slipped on the gypsum and a small sliver of them became the Jura Mountains. Now to the north and the south, the gypsum disappeared, so the middle slipped further than the rest, giving it that crescent shape. So the Jura are a distant relative of the Alps, and that makes them the perfect place to warm up before the final stages hit the high mountains. Hi, I'm Marie-Laine Audier, and I hope you've been enjoying these videos of the geology of the Tour de France Femme. We really enjoyed making them for you. There's more where that came from, but we can't do it without viewer support. So please consider clicking on the link, making a donation, and we really hope to see you again next year.